Hey guys, we're back. Um, so we have moved on and we are now on Sanctimonium, Sanctonium, whatever it is, um, and our coal and our uh, barrel are starting to get a bit dodgy. Uh, oops, as you can see, they're, they're, they're pretty low on both of them. Um, yeah, 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 walls. So we're going to go ahead and, and pick up another coal field. Um, we got this one to choose from and this one to choose from. Uh, this one is 1.8 and this one is, is 913. We've got uh, our uh, robo ports expanded part way out here because when we laid them. So we're already set up to go out to this one. We got power out there. Um, so that's where we're going to head. Uh, oops. Exit. Um we still got a couple to lay, I think, on the way out there, but that's okay. We brought some with us, and we brought bots with us. So, where are the... It didn't lay them. I guess uh, we didn't do the right... Oh, just that one. All right, so there we go. We are now... Out here where we should be um, and we got our deposits here and here did we bring any close cliff explosives with us we didn't but it does not look like we're gonna need any let's go ahead and get this out of our way and yeah we'll we'll tell them to come down here and blow this shit up eventually and uh, it'll do it all on its own. And then we want to snag up this. And apparently, we don't have pull there. There we go. All right. So that will take care of all of this mess down here. And we'll go ahead and lay this out. And we will get to uh, get to mining. Now, I went around to uh, all of my other bases with the nav map, and I checked all the chests to see if there was any more broken crap in any of the chests. And there was some. Um, there was a couple of places that I was able to uh, get it out of it because it was like only one, and it was already stuck in the... Uh, In the inserter so what I did is I put a chest and I rotated it in the inserter and I put it in the chest and I put it in the chest and then I just left the chest there um, next time we happen to be in the neighborhood we will pick that chest up and fix it but in the meantime it's out of the system because it's out of the network um, so we're we're done dealing with that um, and then uh, one other planet I can't remember which one it was at this point um, that we stopped at on the way here because there was a bunch of it. Um, matter of fact, I do believe, yeah, it was Vianet, which is where we just came from. Um, and we shipped a bunch of, uh, stuff that we needed to ship here anyway. So, um, killed two birds with one stone kind of thing. We got that taken care of. Now, let's go ahead and get this taken care of. And uh, so that we don't run out of coal. That would be, you know what? Let's not be stupid. Well, let's not be more stupid than we normally are. Let's put it that way. Um, so anyway, we we took care of that. Uh, we got the stuff here, the cryonite, I do believe it is, um, that we can now process our barrel and start making beryllium plates. And in the last episode, we got all of the 
quite a melange setup that we could set up. I was right. I went back and looked. Um, there are some things we have not researched which are preventing us from making the rest of the uh, the rest of the stuff that you know we would like to be able to make out of Vita Melange. Uh, there are some technology uh, breaks that we have to to still get through um, and we will drive forward on those because we get this barrel set up uh, we can start making uh, barrel plates also start making um, the aerospace frames or whatever it is that we need in order to um, build our next level of research stuff. So we are progressing. But this one's laid out really weird, huh? Well, that's okay. We can make it happen. there and we'll bring one right there doesn't matter as long as we get it all going into the system right doesn't matter how it gets in the system as long as it gets in the system We're not going to run it all the way up. We're just going to run it to the turn. And then we're going to go back and we're going to get the other patch. And we're just going to run them up side by side. stretch far enough that it's going to pick up, it's going to miss that teeny little, what, 
158 of them or whatever now the question is do we just do we go ahead and do this just for that little bit and I think we're going to what the hell um, it'll be the last one because I think we're going to have to go back and get belts I suspect we're gonna have to go back and get belts I don't think we brought enough which sucks Yep, that's what I thought. Alright. Well, meanwhile... start it problem being we're out of belts so we need belts to run both of those up the way we can check our alignment one way yeah okay good we'll make it put past the robo ports with both with both belts that's that was the other thing I wanted to check Maybe while we're up here, we'll pick up some cliff, cliff explosives and save the bots trip all the way down here with the cliff explosives. We're going to have to because we're going to blow that up anyway. All right. So, what we're going to do, once we get this run and we get this production up and going again, we're going to set up um, the rest of our barrel processing so we can get beryllium plates. We went too far. There we go. We'll just grab everything that's there. It's a thousand of them. It may not be enough still, but it's all we can get anyway because we took all of the ones out of the warehouse. Oh, shit. Almost forgot. Cliff explosives. should be right here. That ought to do us. That ought to be enough. I know jetpack is faster. Should be using the jetpack, but I'm not. I know. So I keep in shape. It's my daily exercise routine. to pick up there too not like they're going anywhere we'll get to them when we get to them somewhere right in here ought to be well we passed it already okay
Oops. It's all hooked up. Considering putting a new plant on this planet, uh, considering putting them on all of my planets rather than relying on coal, because coal is going to run out at some point. And since it's used in manufacturing as well. probably want to give consideration to just swapping all of we want to we want to kill that one there I'm gonna hook into this existing line there we go but yeah since since coal is used for other things too like plastic um, I think we might kill our coal fire plant and go with nukes um, at some point on all of our planets. Um, solar would be nice because then you ain't got to fuel anything, but then you got to build the solar, which takes up a lot of resources to build the solar. So we'll see. I don't know. It is a debate to be had with myself at a later date. All right, where is our coal? Our coal's up there, so we want to come past this and up that way. Are we above it? We're above it. Should have went around it. Oh well. Um, where are we gonna cross? Yeah, we're gonna cross right here. Fuck it. And it looks like we are once again gonna be out of belts. Figures. It figures. It's okay. We didn't have any more belts anyway. We couldn't have, couldn't have used any more. Someday we'll have to go home to Navis and fix walls. Someday. Someday we'll do a lot of things. Someday I'll be rich.
There we go. Alright. That should bring our coal up, and it should bring our... Oh, tree in the way. Tree grows in Brooklyn. Not anymore, does it? Alright, so that should start to bring up our barrel, and it should bring up our coal. Let's make sure that it's getting to the getting there to where it needs to be. Yes, it is. It's weird that it's only filled on one side, though. You would think that that would be filled on both sides. I wonder why it's only on the one side. I mean, that should be a full belt on both sides, I would think, at this point. That's a lot of, a lot of mining going in there, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. It's okay. Suppose we can do this. Really, if we want it to. There. Now it'll fill in both sides. So now, let's look at what we need to do to get this stuff processed. And where we want to do it. I think we're still okay on iron. I think we're still okay on coal. We're getting a little low on copper in that one location, but there's another big copper spot right down there from it, so I think we're good to go on that. So I think we're okay for the time being in this location to be able to do what we need to do. So now, this is all other stuff. All right, it is right here. So there we have beryllium sulfate. And we want to get to beryllium plates, which means beryllium ingots, which means beryllium powder, which means beryllium hydroxide, which is water, barrel, um, beryllium sulfate, and cryonite rods. And we need to do that in a chem plant. So we're going to need a chem plant. Chem plant. Plant. Let's get, oh, I don't know, six of them. All right. And then that's going to make that. And then that's going to make that in a chem plant as well. So, yeah, six is fine because we'll do two and two. Leaves us two extra. And then that is done in furnaces. And then that is done in factories. All right, so we're gonna need furnaces. Um, let's do, yeah, let's do six as well. Now, here's the question. Do we ship that up here or do we ship this down there? And I'm personally inclined to ship this down there for now. Until such a time as um, as we move this. Because eventually what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that we have one of these dedicated solely to the manufacturing process of beryllium plates. We're just gonna be bringing in uh, our cryonite rods that way. But in the meantime, uh, let us do 
this. Two. And then all the belts we can stomach, which isn't going to be many because there aren't that many in the system, but it'll keep bringing them to us. Does that bring us two? That brought us two. Okay. So now we can one, two. Because we can tell this. This is the only thing in there right now, but it is not the only thing that's ever going to be in there. So until we have one dedicated to just what we want to do, Just missed it. That was pretty good. I couldn't have, couldn't have done that if I tried. Actually, I did try. But, yeah. Oh, and we're out of belts. Now, I could have bought at this, but then that's going to tie up all our damn bots. You guys, come here. Where are you going? Hey. Hey. I'm right here. Yo. Where are you guys going? Dumbasses. See, that's what happens when you run outside of the logistics network. It forgets you exist. And then it's got to go back where it was and then realize, oh shit. So bring them all to me. Just keep bringing them to me because I'm going to use these ones up. Right? And it's right there. So we'll probably do it right in this area. Or right in this area. Let's do it right in that area. We've gone around those pipes, yes. up here in our network so it can bring us more while we plan all right so first thing we need is we need water and then we need the rods and the, the beryllium okay so we have water coming right there so we're okay and that's going to take two chem plants so if we Inserters. Green. 
Alright. So there to there, there to there. Then those are going to come into there with beryllium salt hydroxide. And... Agua. Does that flow through to give me water on that one? It does not. I didn't think it did. Alright. There. Then that'll go through there, and then we'll be able to put... Damn it. There. Bastards. There. It's into it's it's counterintuitive because they're pointing that way, but it will work. Because there's nothing coming out of it. Um, liquid wise. There's the water, there's the that. Right? Okay. So then we need to come in with these guys liquid coming out. <sighs> These do have liquid coming out. Ah, we can do that. We can make it work. We can make it work. It's still backwards, but it will work. Right? Because then it comes out that way. There we go. Alright, and then that turns into this in another chemical plant. think this. If we do chemical plant space base space chemical plant 
because then that makes that. That makes that, right? No pipes. Then we just have to have water. If we do this. that onto each of those. That'll come to there. That'll come out of there. Or hell, we don't even need to come out of there. We can just go into the furnace. Because then it comes out as that. And then it goes into a furnace. And gets turned into that. So then we could go like that. And we can always replace these with fast inserters if they're not keeping up. Hell, we don't even need to do that. We can do this. And then we didn't ask for, and we should have asked for, these. Two. And then we should ask for, while we're at it, one of these. One. Now, let's see something. Is that the only thing that that's used for? Yes, it's the only thing that's used for. And is that the only thing? Where is the liquid version of that? Where is Where's the liquid version of the beryllium? All right, craft. Brillium, brillium magnet, brillium powder, brillium hydroxide. Now we want the brillium hydroxide, but we want to see what it's made. All right. Oh, duh, because it's a fluid. makes is that so it doesn't matter that we don't if we don't store it I was just looking to see if we want to store this as part of our process so it goes here goes here goes here comes out here um, and then is made into plates right and then that comes out goes into there boom boom right Let's see if it works going to want fast inserters. And we're going to want stack inserters. Should have should have thought about them being stack inserters and I didn't. 
because that's going to be slow as shit. And I can actually get that close enough. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think I can get that closer. I think I can get that close enough that and I'm going to I'm going to do it by hand cuz I don't want them stealing all my shit. I think I can get this closer. without needing the belts. I can. We can actually do that. Why are you doing that? I've got them right here. Seriously? You guys are stupid. All right. Because then I can do this. Right. So there's that. Now I just need to get this to that. not moving that again but what I can do is that going to make that. Let's put that back in there. Let's put that in there and in there. Wow, that's slow. gonna make that oh we got water comes out too well shit all right so water comes back out so we are going to want a pump one should be plenty we're gonna move that Move that. And move these closer so that that can go there. That can go there. And then the pump's going to go back there. And we're going to go one, two, third one's a charm. That should be the water going back to there. That should be the powder going into there and there to make the plates. Or make the ingots. These make the plates. And the plates are going to go into there. How many plates does each one make for? That's fine. So we're obviously going to want more 
furnaces because that is what is killing us. That's what's holding, that's what's going to hold us up, I guess. And then that makes brilliant plates. Ta -da! Finally. And then our beryllium plates are going to give us uh, our arrow frame poles, which I think we need for our uh, science stuff. We need them for making uh, teles telescopes, I think. Um, that's going to start giving us our, our science, our blue science packs once we get this other stuff. Uh, it's, we can use it for cargo rocket sections. It's probably cheaper, maybe, or something. I don't know. Uh, observation frames we're going to need. Arrow frame bulkheads. Don't know what those are going to be for. Um, science pack twos. Science pack threes. Fours. The cryo gun, which we have a cryo gun, I think, and we just don't have any new ammo for it. Which we could make ammo for it, right? Because now we have these two. We just got to get this super ther cool thermal fluid minus 20 whatever. Uh, experimental alloys data, gamma ray detector, lattice pressurizer. So. So yeah, oh, and the pylons. Those are nice because they, they reach really far. Um, I don't know if we got homium, homium, homium anywhere yet. Um, we'll see. All right, um, but yes, they'll give us our arrow frame poles and then our arrow frame poles, right? Arrow frame poles are going to give us our telescopes and our add-on poles weapon delivery cannon weapons delivery cannon huh pylons x-ray telescopes spaceship consoles but the big thing is it's going to start to give us our telescopes so i don't yeah, see, we needed to craft those suckers. Um, and then that'll start to give us some of our components for science. We can start putting that on our our space platform. So, woohoo, we have this. Now, what do we need to make these? Oh, so we can start making them now. Sweet. So maybe we'll start doing that now too. We want logistics. We want another warehouse. One. And then one space. One space. This and this and yes oh wait yes that's right okay that is right and then one and one and one and one and one And one. All right. Arrow frame poles, guys. Woohoo! So that's got us going in the right direction now. Not bad. Not bad for an hour. All right. We have our next... Uh, our next link in the chain. We have our, our, our aerospace frames. Or our airspace poles, rather. Um, airspace poles usage. 
All right, so now we got to crack this nut here. We're making glass already. We're making airframe poles. We're making low density structures. Um, we're going to have to set up manufacturing to make space assembly machines, I guess. I don't know how many microwave telescopes we really need. Probably only one. Um, we're going to have to look in to see if we've got any place that has holmium. And then that looks like that's easy, easy enough to make. All right, so holmium is going to be a thing. Looks like we can also make the X-ray telescope if we have the research for it, which I don't know if we do for either of those. Um, but let's look at this aerospace frame thing. Usage. Bulkheads. That's where we're ways away from. That we're ways away from. Another way to make low density structures. More data. Space probe rockets. So Holmium is going to be another one that we're going to have to look into. But here's another telescope we'll be able to make. Telescope we'll be able to make. We're going to start making telescopes. All right, let's take a look and see if we have any planets that have Holmium. Now, I know it's not on the ones that we have so far. Um, that's a that's a sun. Holmanite. Okay, so this one's got it. Taser's got it. So Taser we may have to go to. Jesus, Jiminy. Those are all orbits. I'm trying to avoid going to places where there's biters if I can. But we may run into an issue of having to go someplace that has biters that will have a number of things all together. This one's got low. It's Holmite, Cryonite. Erudite. Erudite. But that's a 67%. That's only a 7%. That's a big ass planet. That's low. Seventeen percent's not so bad. They got homeite, homeite. I don't have much stone though. All right, so it looks like that's going to be. We're going to have to go there. We're going to have to go to Taser to get home tonight. We're going to have to ship a lot of stuff in, though, because that one has got nothing hardly in resources. So we're going to have to ship rocket parts into there. All right. And then what was that other stuff? 
Um, is that a semiconductive cable? Oh, um, bulkheads do what? Aris arc sphere collect. energy beam receiver so if we wanted to bl to send power from one place to another that's all energy beam stuff there is so much in this mod I don't I don't know how long this mod's gonna go on and on and on Just how long we're gonna continue to struggle up the chain like regularly I mean we're gonna continue to play this but I have a feeling it's not gonna be an everyday thing at some point like we've been doing oh you know what let's tell this to make what it's supposed to be making because we didn't do that All right. There we go. Okay, guys. So, so that's what we got. Um, we're all the way up to aeroframe poles. That's kind of cool. Um, that's got us going there. Um, we will. We will go from there. My God, the the, the tech tree on this is just very deep very deep and very wide um so yeah how full is this have we filled this up yet no we're doing all right there all right slowly but surely guys um i will uh i'll talk at you later all right Bye.